You guys see that sign up there, right? Today we play the Nevada way. Okay? That means hard. That means fast. That means physical. That's how we play. We compete. And every time you walk on the field, we do that. And we don't care who we play or where we play them. For the Nevada Wolf Pack, the season is here. What we do in the summer will determine our fall. Uh, the spring game was really important for us as a team. It was an uh, opportunity to play in front of fans and compete uh, and, and be in a game type atmosphere. We wanted to see our, our defense and our offense perform at a high level. We worked through some issues through that game. We got some game jitters out. We functioned our systems at a pretty high level. And I was, I was proud of our effort and the momentum we got going into summer camp. Hey, hey, wake this shit up right now, man, from jump. Get on that head, hey, don't wait. I thought um, just everybody flew around and ran really hard. Defensive football is so much about effort, and um, even if you're not in the right spot, if you, you can make up for a lot of things with effort. And I thought everybody flew around to the ball really well, and I just thought it was fun. I thought we had fun playing football, and that's really important just because uh, last year we didn't win very much, but it just it wasn't that fun. And if we can go out there and have fun every Saturday, we'll be, we'll be a good team. Fun is defined differently when you play the Nevada way. You smile through the hard work, you laugh at the pain, the journey, the struggle, giving your all every time your cleats touch the field. That's the Wolfpack's idea of a good time. Coach Norvell's began to implement his core values for this program the day he arrived on campus. It is evident in strength and conditioning coach Jordan Simmons. Coming from a military background, Coach Simmons, the former member of the Special Forces, will tell you the principles of grit are no laughing matter. As a whole, for the strength and conditioning program, we have principles that Coach Norvell has set, and that's respect, accountability, and hustle. Those principles carry over in everything. That's not just for football, that's not just in the weight room. We teach those guys that they need to have those principles very prevalent in their life in all aspects, whether that be in the classroom, whether it be in the lunchroom, it doesn't matter. You know, those are things that if you can instill that in a player and bring that out of them, because they already have those qualities, it's just about bringing it out of them, making them realize how important it is. Everything else kind of takes care of itself. You know, summer, summer's when is you got to do stuff the other guys aren't, you know what I mean? Like hopefully, you know, ho hopefully you're working harder than Boise and Wyoming and those guys because that's what's going to show in the fall is what you put in the off season. Um, you know, the workouts is, you know, getting bigger, getting stronger, getting faster. I mean, it's all relevant to, to winning on Saturdays. So, I mean, you put the work in now, you can, you can be prepared and be ready. You know, if, if you work hard, you're going to be at Saturday like, oh, you know, I, I worked hard this offseason, I'm ready to go. But if you don't put in the work, you're going to know in your head like, damn, I'm not, I'm not ready, you know. So I think it's just preparation and just 
and physically and mentally you feel better when you're bigger and stronger and stuff like that and I think that that goes a long way too but these workouts are really good that coach Simmons and that staff has, to, has put together and I like it a lot and I think it's going to benefit us a lot. Next time on Grit, the Wolves get in front of the camera for media day, fall camp opens up and the players report for the upcoming season. There's 43 new bodies here and each has something to prove. Hey Wolfpack fans, this is head coach Jay Norvell, the University of Nevada. Uh, I've heard how loud Mackey Stadium can get. Now we'd love to see it. Get your tickets now.